Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat. In this session, we would look at an actual CPA exam simulation released by the AI CPA. This is as real as it gets as the AI CPA administer the actual CPA exam. Specifically, we're going to be looking at reg simulation. As always, I would like to remind you to connect with me on LinkedIn if you haven't done so. YouTube, where you would need to subscribe. I have 1,600 plus accounting, auditing, finance, and tax lectures. I cover all CPA topics and practically all accounting courses, including hundreds, if not thousands, of CPA questions. On my website, I have additional resources, such as PowerPoint slides, true-false, notes, multiple choice, 2,000 plus CPA questions. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to move on to the CPA simulation and work the simulation together. So this is what the simulation would look like. So the first thing you want to do is take a look at the instruction. Okay. And this is what it actually looks on the exam day. So you want to make sure you are familiar with all your resources. Okay. So basically the simulation reads, review the items for each independent situation for, for separate taxpayers shown in column A of the table below and enter the appropriate amount of the taxpayer AGI reflected on form 1040 US individual tax return in column B. This is column B right here. All taxpayer filed their 1040 using fi tax filing status of single. Assume that each taxpayer initial calculation of the gross income is 68,000, which include no special capital gain or loss before considering the situation listed below. Enter all amounts as positive whole values if the amount is zero enter zero so basically they want you to to they want they want to test you to know if you how to come up with agi so they want you to know what are the deduction for agi that's basically what they're asking you do you know how to compute agi adjusted gross income that's the whole question now the first thing i want to tell you is in this simulation, if you get the simulation, you are lucky in a sense that each situation is independent. So if you get two wrong, you'll get three right. You may get three right, four wrong, but you can get five correct. So this is good because they are not interconnected. But the topic is the same, adjusted gross income. What does that mean for you? It means all what they're asking you is, do you know what's deducted for AGI, what's not deducted for AGI? So it's the same concept that you have learned for the multiple choice, but it's tested differently. That's the only thing. So simulations are nothing more than just long multiple choice questions. And sometimes they're short multiple choice questions. So let's take a look at the first question. So situation, these are the situations. Situation two, okay? We have, uh, so basically we are starting, so let's pull the calculator here. We are starting with, let me just make sure we can see the calculator. Let me pull it. Okay, there we go. Let me get it close to here because we're going to need to use the calculator for this example, obviously. Let me just go back. Okay, so we are starting with the energy with the gross income of $68,000. That's that's the that's what we have. Now, we are told that we had $6,000 of self-employment health insurance premium. Well, because those figure those figures, those cases are not taken into account. So what do we need to do if we have self-employment health insurance premium paid? Well, that's deductible for AGI. What does that mean? It means we need to deduct $6,000 now we're down to $62,000. Now we are down to $62,000. Then we incurred $9,000 of self-employment tax tax paid. So what do we do if we incurred $9,000 of self-employment tax paid? It means we have a business and we had to pay self-employment taxes. We can deduct half of the self-employment tax to get to AGI. So we're going to deduct $4,500. Now, the last thing we have is $4,000, and that's reimbursed non-business, which is personal casualty loss incurred in a federally declared disaster area. Is this deductible? Yes, it is deductible. It's deductible for AGI. No, it's not. So remember, unreimbursed non-business casualty loss incurred in a federally declared disaster area is deductible from from AGI. Therefore, we cannot deduct it here. We, that because either asking you here compute AGI. Therefore, AGI is simply put fifty seven thousand five hundred. Now, could they could could they ask you this question in a multiple choice? I'm sorry, fifty seven. So be careful. Fifty seven 
500. So this same scenario could have been listed in a multiple choice, giving you four options. And you could you will choose compute AGI. You know, here's the here's the gross income. Here are the three. Here are the three factors. You know, which one of them is deductible for AGI? It's as simple as that. So notice it's just a multiple choice in a different in a different format. Okay, let's take a look at this scenario. So we are always clear the tape before you start the second problem. Uh, so you are starting with 68,000 in gross income and they want you to take into account 2,000 contribution to a Roth IRA. What do you need to know about Roth IRA? Roth IRA, Roth IRA is not deductible, therefore we ignore it. It doesn't affect our adjusted gross income. $180 remittance of jury duty paid to employer. Now, what happens sometimes when you receive money from jury duty, it's income. But if you if you remit that money to your employer, then you can deduct it. So the net effect is zero. You got it. They paid it. The county or whatever the state paid you that money. But if you give it to your employer, you can deduct it. It means we can deduct it because it was remitted to employer. So you can deduct one hundred and eighty dollars. We're down to sixty seven eight hundred and twenty. And there was a $200 penalty on early withdrawal of certificate of deposit. You need to know that you can deduct this penalty. So we can deduct 200 And that's it. For this scenario, our adjusted gross income is 67620 Can this question be, be phrased in a multiple choice? Sure it can. Just they give you the information differently. That's all what they did. Okay. So adjusted gross income is 67620 accept okay clear the tape let's look at this example let's bring down the calculator a little bit okay we have 24000 is the amount of traditional ira that was rolled over to an to an to another traditional ira in a direct trustee to trustee transfer within 50 days what happened is we transfer our money from one ira to the, to, to another so let's start with 68000 do we have to do anything about this? Is it deductible for AGI? That's clear. Is it deductible for AGI or anything like this? And the answer is no. If it's trustee to trustee, we never saw the money. It's not deductible for AGI. In other words, we did not touch the money. It went from one account to another. It's not to another IRA. It's a rollover. It's not. It's non-taxable event in a sense. We have 8,000 gambling losses incurred. No winning. Well, gambling losses are deducted to the extent of winning and they're not deducted uh, for AGI here because they're told us there's no winning okay so nothing we can we can do with this $200 unreimbursed classroom supplies the taxpayer is an eligible educator well if that's the case you can deduct up to 250 so you can deduct 200 therefore you're down to 67800 again can you can you answer, can you with this question is it possible can it be asked in a multiple choice format sure it can Okay, let's look at number five. Let's bring down the calculator a little bit. Let's look at number five. So we are starting with $68,000 in gross income. $6,000 loss on a sale of personal automobile. There's nothing we can do with this. $10,000 contribution to the capital of an S corporation. It has nothing to do with adjusted gross income. $3,000 write-off of a worthless non-business loan, personal non-business loan. You need to know the rules for this. Personal non personal non business loan it becomes worthless it's considered short term capital loss we can deduct up to three thousand we can deduct up to three thousand we're down to sixty five thousand the answer is sixty five thousand let's look at scenario six clear the tape before you start again so we have, we're starting with sixty eight thousand. 1,600 student loan interest paid, assuming no phase-out apply. If no phase-out apply, we can deduct up to 2,500. Therefore, 1,600 is deductible. We received $12,000 cash inheritance received from a relative's estate. Well, if we received inheritance, that's tax-free for us. 18,000 prior year AMT paid in the current year. You paid your taxes of the AMT of last year. That has nothing to do with adjusted gross income. Therefore, the answer is 66400 Simply put, if you understand what's deducted for AGI, what's deducted from AGI, you'll be able to ace this simulation. Now, how, do, how, would, how would you know what's deducted for AGI, what's deducted from AGI? Guess what? On my YouTube channel, on my income tax course, I have a whole, I have a whole, um, a chapter about what's deducted for, what's deducted from, 
AGI. Also on my website, I will have additional exercises so you can practice this. So I strongly suggest you visit my website. You're, you take your CPA exam once in your lifetime. It's an investment. Go ahead, subscribe, invest. You need to pass the exam. Good luck, and I'm here to help you.